good why would why would they sell you something rusty and how was it packaged so it came packaged it came packaged in here so um the alignment tool and then this is the throw out bearing sits right there and you know 450 dollar why would you want to use something that's very suspicious looking just rusty like that so it was packaged pretty well but obviously it was sitting around somewhere and then they threw it in the kit and then they shrink wrapped it through but okay this is the bearing that comes in spec i don't think they m make it or i don't know but they might have some other company that they're getting this from so oh first of all um also from the warning warnings people have been giving me about these um this one came out of the box slightly rusty just a little bit but um and then the symmetry and then these grease is like coming out and you know just some red flags it was oiled a little bit but not not too much for this one to the the notchy the notchy so i know it's hard to see it's because it's covered in dust see how it goes right into the groove easy i guess that's what they call direct fitment Try this again. See, it goes right into that groove. Bam. And then you got. See, it doesn't. Doesn't quite. Maybe we could just try it. See, it's uh, this side's getting caught. It's not too perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna knock the camera over. So you just do that. And it's a uh, it's different, like um, spring load. It's see how this is a no name brand. See where I'm pointing right here the gap here is a lot smaller than the gap right here so uh, you could stick stuff in there goes out much uh, this doesn't go in all the way so you see that line in the middle of the flathead covers the line on the flathead does not cover the line on the flathead sorry it's not as bad but it looked like there's some space in there that's more than the here